Big day in Asian data tomorrow. What we've been watching very closely over the last week and probably over the last three or four months has been the increased movement in the US dollar. And it is becoming more and more the play that everybody expected at the start of the year where the US dollar was starting to strengthen. We are getting closer and closer to that October Fed meeting where the expectation is the asset purchase program will finish. And then we start to talk about speculation around the Fed funds rate and that moving. Aussie dollar is the one to watch over in the Asian markets. We know about the yen. It definitely has the Japanese bank behind it. The BOJ continues to talk a little bit more toughly in regards to how it wants to move. It certainly doesn't want to get into the market again with printing, but it's not off the cards. And it's why you've seen the yen continue to fall against the US dollar. But the strength against the Aussie dollar is the one to watch. Commodities continue to slide. We finally saw easing in copper and we're seeing a massive slide in iron ore. And we now have an Aussie dollar currently sitting at six months lows. The one thing that we are certainly watching and the one thing that we believe that is probably the key play coming over the next two or three months is long volatility. Looking at the October contract for us at IG, it is the one to watch, currently sitting well and truly mid-14 levels. We can see that going quite a lot higher as we see more and more strength in the US dollar, volatility in the equity markets. It is the one to watch. Tomorrow, that will again be on the play as we do watch the CPI data coming out of China. The reaction to their trade balance over the last three days has been very, very interesting. Imports continue to fall away. So will we get any inflation from a domestic standpoint? Expectations is we will, but it is no way near where the current government wants it to be. And considering Lee Ke-chung himself has actually said that they're no longer going to step into the fiscal policy market, that would suggest that it's going to have to grow organically and there will be sort of ramifications for that as well. Volatility in China, therefore, is likely. Volatility across Asia is also likely. And that, again, gets back to that original theme. Watching the VIX, it is certainly one play that I think is quite interesting. Other news tomorrow will come out from Australia. We do have their employment change here. It will be, as ever, very, very volatile. It's a very, very erratic figure. Expectations are for around about 15,000 jobs to be added. However, it has been a very, very soft month throughout August. So it could actually see a negative feed. And again, the participation rate and the unemployment rate continue to tick in the wrong direction. And that will be one to watch. So that six month low in the Aussie dollar could go lower still. All of that information will trade into some very, very strange moves in the equity markets. We have seen a fairly big move off today across the, the Asian markets, Japan, China, Southeast Asia, and also here in Australia, all down. I think tomorrow you may actually see a bit of a pickup in the Chinese markets, but everything else will collapse. All of that probably spell a fairly negative week for the entire Asian markets come Friday, and it will remain a very interesting place to be considering what's going on in the global economy.